Oh, you didn't want to. <laughs> Did the wind just blow that over? <laughs> hey, guys. hey guys, welcome to another episode of Outdoor Cooking with Dory and Little Feather. All right guys, we're, today we're going to be doing one pot cooking. It is progression number three in your outdoor manual and we're going to do a master plan meal. All right, so before we get started, we are going to go over to our wash station, wash up our hands. Our hair is all tied back and then we'll get right to it. So today we're going to be using the um, master plan for one pot meals. So all of these meals start out the same way and then you adjust them to make various things. And there are 16 different meals on this, on this chart. So we will link that in the description. So today, Miss Dory is going to be making, I'm going to be making a camp soup. And my camp soup has in it uh, ground beef, soy sauce, tomato sauce, oregano, um, onion, dry onion soup mix, carrots, and celery. And I will be making the same thing, but with some adjustments. So in my troop, I have two girls who are vegetarian and one girl who has celiac disease, so she cannot have gluten. So I have adjusted the recipe so that everybody in my troop would be eating the same meal. So the one I'll be doing is the same camp stew, but a gluten-free vegetarian option. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and set up our camp stove. And um, it's very easy to, to go ahead and set up. And, and usually my girls can do this real quick on their own. That's good. Uh oh. All right, so we're gonna get started with our one pot meal. Like I said, I'm gonna be making a camper soup. And so we're gonna light the stove and brown the ground beef. So you wanna turn on the propane first. All right, we're gonna put the pot over it. While that's warming up, we're gonna get the meat started. Okay, while well, I've got the ground beef in here, I'm gonna go ahead and brown it till cooked through. So while that's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my celery and carrots. Okay guys, so I've got my ground beef browning. Little Feather is making sure that it's not burning. And while she's doing that, I just wanted to talk to you about one pot meals. And it is, as I mentioned before, it is number three in the cooking progression. And it's really great for um, brownies and juniors um, for a quick meal when you take them camping or even practicing in a backyard setting. Um, it helps them hone those chopping skills. So um, you definitely wanna make sure that your brownies or juniors have had some sort of knife safety before you begin. So now that I've drained the fat from the ground meat, and now we're going to add all our ingredients. All right, so now we're going to cover our soup, and that's going to simmer for 30 minutes. So you want to get your timer out and set it. Okay, so on my side of the stove, I'm gonna be making the vegetarian version. So since there is no meat, I did have to add oil because that, we don't have any. And um, even though the master recipe for the camp stew or camp soup calls for not having onions and peppers, I'm putting them in so that we have more flavor. All right. All right, so you may have noticed that I um, had pre-chopped my vegetables. So this is a trick you can use when you're taking your girls camping, you're kind of in a hurry, 
your first night there, you might be busy setting up camp and um, dealing with all of all of the camp setup. So pre-chopping your vegetables before just makes the first meal way easier for the girls and way more enjoy enjoyable. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the ingredients to my vegetarian gluten-free soup. And they are a, a little different than what's in the master recipe. So I'm gonna explain why I'm putting in what I'm putting in. Um, the number one thing that's really different is the instead of adding water I use I'm using vegetable broth and the reason is vegetable broth is really rich and it has um, a lot of flavor because I cannot use the onion soup mix because it usually contains gluten and it also contains beef broth or beef bouillon which wouldn't be making vegetarians very happy. So I've had to put together a little spice packet that um, has all of the other spices, but not the, the bouillon. So the, the vegetable broth is gonna make up for the bouillon missing. Um, also another ingredient that I have that's different is a gluten-free soy sauce. Most soy sauce contains wheat. This one is has no wheat, always has not had wheat. So that's awesome. Um, so I will um, carefully measure that into my, into my soup. And um, I'm gonna add in my tomatoes. Those are, are the same. And then I'm gonna add in my carrots. Pre-chop for my ease. All right, and then uh, I too will allow this to simmer for 30 minutes. Oh, sorry. One more thing I'm gonna add in later after it's cooked for about 10 minutes is a, about a quarter cup of quinoa. And this is gonna up the protein level of, of the stew and also give it a little bit more um, hardiness. All right, so um, we are boiling now, so we are going to add in our quinoa so it has time to cook before it's time to eat. So join us next time we explore more outdoor cooking. And if you like this video, please press like and subscribe to our channel. Bye. Pass the pepper.